Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. I'm a little late to the party on this one. Recently, Skylima Software released their last extension in 2022 for Luminar Neo. That extension is called Magic Light AI. You would use Magic Light AI on any image that has a pointed light source in it, like a street lamp or a Christmas light. And what it will do is it will give that pointed light source a star effect. Now, typically you try to do that in camera, and you could do it with most lenses by stopping the lens down, you know, F11, F16, F22. And when you do that, it will give those pointed light sources a star effect. Now, of course, that star effect quality really depends on the lens itself, the physical makeup of the lens. The number of blades the diaphragm has will control the number of little arms that the star has and so on. In some lenses, it looks better than others. Well, now you don't have to worry about that because you could do it in post-production with Magic Light AI, and I'm going to demo it here. I have this image of Columbus, Ohio, and if I zoom in on the street lamps, you can see there's a little bit of a star effect there. That's not because I stopped down the lens. I actually shot this, I think, at 5.6, f of 5.6. That's because I used a filter on my lens to give those pointed light sources a star effect. Uh, you can buy filters as well to give you the star effect. Of course, they don't give you quite as much control as you'll get if you do it in post-production with Magic Light AI. So Magic Light AI is over here in the edit panel. It's under the extensions. We'll open it up. You can see there's a number of sliders. To begin to use it, just move the intensity slider to the right. And you can see as I do that, we're starting to get a star effect on every pointed light source. So, so that's pretty much every single street lamp that is in this image. Now I'm going to leave it relatively high so you can see the, what the rest of the sliders do. We have the size of the star effect itself. You can see as I bring it out, it's kind of like the overall glow all the way around and the intensity. That's what that does. Beam width. How thick are those individual beams? The glow itself. This is just the glow. Whereas this size seemed to affect the arms and the glow. This glow one just affects the glow itself. The cleanness, this basically gets rid of the glow. So you just have those arms. The brightness. The number of beams. I mentioned uh, that the number of beams you get if you're trying to do it in camera depends on the lens and the number of blades the diaphragm has in your lens. Well, you could control that here. You could see you could have a 24 beams all the way down to two beams. Let's leave it like around 10 right now. Rotation, just spin it around. Maybe the uh, arm of one of the beams is covering up a sign or something or covering up someone's face. And you could rotate this so it isn't just like that. So it's really very, very easy to use. So you could come in here and get the desired effect you want. Now, as I look at this, you'll notice that it's hitting every pointed light source or what it considers to be a pointed light source, including the signs on top of this building on the right and the sign on the building on the left. You may not want it to do that because typically a lens probably wouldn't do that. So what you could do is you could go to masking and you could get a brush and you could erase and then just paint over this area here to erase it from there and paint over here to erase it from there. And you'll see then that the star effect has been removed from those areas. So let's try another one. Let's go over to the catalog. I don't have actually a lot of night images, uh, something I am going to rectify very soon because I do have a project I'm going to be working on where I take images of cities at night, uh, not just Buffalo where I live, but all over North America. So we have this one. We, as you can see, we have some street lamps. Um, you can see it's just kind of a blob. I didn't use a filter on this. This just is kind of a blob of light. So we're going to go to Magic Light AI. We'll do the intensity. And then we'll do the size. And we could bring the beam width. We could make it glow. We could maybe bring the cleanliness. I don't know. That kind of gets rid of the glow. The overall brightness. See, I'm just overdoing it so you can see what's going on here. And the rotation. So let's try to make this something that I really would rather have. like this, something like this, like this, 
And this. That size down a little bit. So something more like that, I think, is more of what I think would look decent. Let's do one more. I have this cityscape. I don't sell prints, by the way, but every now and then I get someone requesting to buy this print or this image as a print. So of the few prints I've ever sold, this one has sold the most. Uh, so let me go to edit. We'll go to Magic Light AI and we'll turn the intensity up and you can see it's hitting all these street lights down here. This is a really sharp image. So I think that the cleanliness should be high on this. Like that with barely any glow. That's my opinion. That. So again, and if it's anywhere you don't want it, like it's on this Avant building over here, you could see it probably wouldn't be like that if you did this in camera so you would go to masking get a brush erase it and erase it from there and it's out here on a building over here i don't think it would be there so i'll erase it from there so that's it that's magic light ai very very simple to use and skylum mentioned that this is the last extension in 2022. in the description below this video i have a link to their website i am an affiliate for uh, Skylum software. So if you click on my link and purchase anything over there, I will make a commission on it. Uh, also, I have a discount code. I'll have that listed as well. You could save some money if you purchase Luminar Neo. So all that will be listed down there. And I do have one request. I have a newsletter. Uh, the newsletter isn't just me talking about what I'm doing. Um, I try to teach photography in my newsletter. So there'll be photography related articles. It's published twice a week. And uh, every now and then I do a podcast as well. So you can check that out all in the description below this video. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.